problem with this is that Ed Mulgrave introduced himself to Aaron like so. I'm Ed Mulgrave. So that means he's introduced himself to Garrett as Ed Mulgrave too. And there's no way this comic misunderstanding should take place. If the movie had introduced something about this guy's character as a guy with exacting standards, it had a chance. But this apparent character trait never comes up again. Garrett here saw it on Tuesday. I'm waiting for this guy to get funny. No! No! Uh -oh. no! You're screwed now. Oh my god, oh my god this thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deadpool? You want to do Deadpool? Yeah. Okay. I still haven't seen that movie. Well, it's got to be a movie you've seen. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck. Logan. Go back to Logan. I've seen that one. It's a good fucking movie, by the way. It is a good movie. I'm looking for someone who's looking for you. How would this guy know Gabriella is looking for Wolverine? And if he knows that, how has he not found her yet? Also, he's looking for Laura because the company he works for needs to get her back and cover it up. But since all the other mutants escaped, isn't the Kitty Bride out of the bag at this point? And don't they have the technology to create more mutants? Seems like a waste of resources to go find a child Wolverine when you can just make one in a lab. Kind of Logan to carry Professor X to his bed for some rest, and I'd be calmed by this imagery if he wasn't also leaving the wheelchair so far away from the bed as to render Charles immobile until further human assistance arrives. F*** off, Logan. <laughs> all right, even Professor X is saying f**k. We are all having a good time. There are no new mutants, understand? There's been a new one born in 25 years. Hmm, that seems like the exact circumstances of the movie Children of Men, which made about 15% of what this movie made. Too bad Children of Men didn't have a Wolverine character, so more people could have seen it. That bad guy earlier in the limo straight up told Logan he knew about his keeping Professor X down here in Mexico. So why did Logan promptly take zero security precautions upon arriving here? Busted-ass Wolverine can't even get all his claws out without assistance, which I'm just now realizing is the most brutal ED joke ever. God damn. Some movie footage <laughs> taken from the unaired Wolverine episode of the acclaimed show Intervention. Or the pus you're wiping away from your knuckles. Or the blood I wash from your clothes. Or the fresh wounds in your chest. This guy started out like a genuine character who cares, but now I see he's just an exposition machine. Well, yeah. At the film's first script meeting, a producer asked, We have an R rating, so what should we do? Immediately, Tad jumped up and wrote boobs on the whiteboard, and everyone laughed. And then well, the laughing got violent and out duh. of control, and everyone started high-fiving everyone else in the face, and everyone got bludgeoned to death. Later, the Jimmy John's guy arrived and noticed the dead bodies and the whiteboard, and finished writing this scene and the rest <laughs> of the screenplay, and still delivered all his sandwiches on time. Look, guys, this article is some f***ing bullshit. Yeah. All right. So he did not like the. God damn it. He didn't like the film, apparently. Uh, no, no, he does like every movie. He actually. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm listening. On his, uh, on, on his other channel, he actually does like real reviews of the movie. Uh -huh. uh, and he does like, like all these movies. He's, what he's doing is he's taking everything you could possibly crit be critical about and exploiting it, basically. Yeah. To be funny. That's, that's fair, I guess. So, but he does like the movie. He's not being a dick. He's not just, well, he kind of is. Well, I mean, it's okay. And his name's Jeremy, by the way. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that explains a lot. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm just kidding. You're um, a dick. You're I remember what, well, I watch a lot of other yeah. stuff. Some stuff you wouldn't like. See, I mean, when I, get, when I sit down to like, I don't know, when I sit down to, to YouTube, it's like fucking pimple popping videos and shit. What? Yeah, I know. It's weird. What? I, I get it. I get it. It's weird. No, I don't get it. I said, I get it. It's weird. I know uh, you don't get it. It's weird. I'm not saying it's like, hey, everybody go watch pimple popping videos or some shit, but, you know. I watch. Uh, it's like these disgusting things that are coming out of people's bodies and fucking mm -hmm. gross. I mean, like gross. Let me go to. Uh, like this guy's got shit shooting out of his back with his lady is squeezing on him and this his, fucking his like. labia. Yeah, right. Exactly. This lady. And he's got fucking cottage cheese shooting out of his back. <laughs> and I, I don't mean like, boop, boop, boop. I mean like, like fucking machine gun in a school shooting scenario. That was a horrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that terrible, terrible joke. No, don't apologize. It was funny. No, I'm not, um, I, I apologize. Do whatever you want. I'll, I'll too also, soon. That really was too soon. Too well, soon. Yeah. If it was the same day, it's too soon. It's <laughs> 24 hours have passed. It's fine. Oh, fuck. Um, I watch a couple. I'm of, going to hell. I, I watch like Watch Mojo, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then I watch a couple of other places like uh, Looper and The Richest, and they do like facts and stuff like that. Just yeah. Entertaining stuff. Sometimes if I feel funky, I'll watch The Fine Brothers, who do a lot of React videos. They're they're okay. Which which those are the two? Uh... They're the ones that tried to. They got the whole YouTube up into a stink because they tried to copyright the word React. So no other YouTuber could use the word react in their video. Which two of those guys? I don't, I just, I don't know how to describe them. They're this is not brothers. a 
This is not an Amy Schumer joke theft thing going on here. If they're black, just tell me they're black. No, why would they be black? What does that have to do with I anything? No. What is that? Why would you? I don't understand what you're getting at here. You know, you haven't seen that. You've seen the Amy Schumer joke theft. Oh yeah, yes, right. of course. But what are you talking about with their black? What they're black or whatever? Well, you said you didn't know how to describe them. They're a couple of white dudes that are brothers. They look like Jew- they might be Jews. I think they are Jews. The Jewish. I think yeah. they're Jews. Okay. Could be. They definitely look kind of. Because you know, she, you remember she she stole that on her fucking stupid show. She stole that uh, Mad TV uh, bit where uh, she stole a bunch of shit. Sheldon's girlfriend goes into the fucking super, the store to buy a shirt or some shit, and it's this black lady who sold her whatever, and she goes to the register, and Peel is asking her or Keenan, I can't remember which is it Peel. <laughs> he just made, made a Peel. Made a mistake. Yeah, they all peel. look alike. No, so they all look like I can never, I never, I've never known which was which. That's true. I don't either. Yeah. I, I, I know them as Keenan and Peel. Or as Dave Chappelle calls them, assholes. <laughs> but uh, he's just uh, described the the sales uh, clerk, and she doesn't want to say that she's black. Jump ahead like fucking five years, and Amy Schumer's doing the exact same bit. I I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah. Speaking of which, where the fuck... I mean, we've talked about this before, but where the fuck is Joe Rogan on this shit? Joe Rogan, I'm calling you out again. I hope you hear this. He's not going to hear you. I don't care. I'm still calling him out. How come he's not, like, fucking giving her the Mencia treatment? You remember that shit, dude. Fucking Joe Rogan, like, straight up stalked Mencia for a bit. I don't know if I would call it stalking. But he did show up to one of his shows. Or, no, I think he performed before him. at like, the Laugh Factory or some shit. Joe doesn't really do anything anymore. He does the Joe Rogan Experience, his podcast. And he still does like the... Walking Dead Season 8 to feature first fully nude zombie. I also watch Trev's Chan too. That's, yeah. where I, that's my Walking Dead channel. Aren't all the zombies kind of nude? Yeah, but, but I guess this one's actually going to be like, hey, look, that's a tit. Hey, look, there, it's probably going to be like, hey, look, there's a butt. And it's a dude's wrink, old wrinkly dude's ass. We've seen butts before in that show. No big, no big deal. Yeah, we saw, uh, what's her name's butt? Lori Holden's butt. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen some other butts. We saw Michonne's butt. I guess we did see Michonne's, but like the, but it was you know really shadowed, in you know the middle of the day. <laughs> Glad you made that distinction. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just looking through these things here. What are you, oh, you're looking through all your, your crazy YouTube stuff? Yeah. Do you ever go through your history and look at the shit you've watched? Like, what the fuck was no, I thinking? No, because I stick to the people I just said. Yeah. You, I, don't, I, you, I, don't, I, you don't fall, you don't, hardly, you know, don't fall down ever. the rabbit hole, so to speak? I hardly ever. Like, let me look at my history. Maybe yeah. see if it's any different here. Where do I go to find? I don't I don't like. But you never you never open up your history your YouTube history like a midget fucking like, what the fuck is this? When did I watch? Why, why would I watch vid- midget fucking? I'm not on saying YouTube. you would watch a video no, about no, midget if fucking. If you look at I'm my Pornhub saying. history, we might. Talk <laughs> I've, some, I've looked at some crazy shit on there. Well, I'm sure you have. But you know how you know how that like the uh, the up next videos. What does it say? Like five videos into YouTube, you have no idea where the fuck you are. Uh huh. What do you? Oh, you got something? Oh, oh shit. This is a crazy thing from your history. Uh, uh, right, there you go. Okay, what do you got? All right, just pick one. Yep. Okay. I did it again. That's not volume. That's turning off the phone. <laughs> oh Jesus! Pants. Hey, that's, that's a pretty cool shirt. Give me some space. Coming in at number six is the moon a planet? Ah! Dumb tweet. Dumb you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm tweaking. What? It's a moon, lol. Lameo, I'm... Or a star. I'm tweaking. I need to breathe. Tweaking hundreds of years ago. All right, next up at number five. If lions and tigers are giant cats, are bears giant <laughs> dogs? Okay. All right, listen. We've all seen those big dogs that look a bit like bears, but that doesn't mean bears are just big dogs. If that was true, do people just send out their dogs into the woods when they get too big? Oh, how's Rufus doing these days? Still a good boy? No, actually, he's uh, he's got too big. He's a bear now. He's gone. He's a bad boy. Oh, I really wish someone would turn these tweets into actual movies. Coming in at number four. <laughs> do you ever ask yourself, if chicken and eggs are the same thing, why do they taste different? Um, no, actually, I've, I've never thought that. Mainly because I always thought that chicken and eggs
legs were different things. Look, here we have a helpful side-by-side -side comparison <laughs> to confirm that. Now, to be fair, I know what they're getting at. Chicken eggs can become chickens, but that doesn't mean they should taste the exact same. Oh dear, I reached a point where I'm explaining that chickens and eggs aren't the same thing. It feels pretty low. <laughs> Which came first, the chicken or the chicken? At the number three spot now, we have a drone freaking army. Why didn't Obama send them to stop the terrorists on 9-11? Hello? Media? Do we even have a media? Yeah, bloody media. This is the stuff they should be investigating. Why didn't Obama, who became president in 2009, yeah. why didn't he send drones to stop 9-11 that happened in 2001? What was his problem? Laziness. Pure laziness. <laughs> it's quite simple. In 2009, Obama should have sent an army of 2017 drones back in time to stop the event <laughs> that happened in 2001. Is that so hard to do? I want to send a drone back to stop this tweet ever happening. Moving on to number two. If wings come from a bird, why is there buffalo wings? Do buffaloes have wings I am unaware of? Someone please explain to me. Well, she did ask. Buffalo wings are chicken wings that originate from the city of Buffalo. Buffaloes, as in the animal, do not have wings. I've heard about kids asking these kind of questions. That's fine. But when you're an adult, you really need to stop thinking buffaloes can fly. Did they used to see buffaloes in fields without their wings? I think they had just been shaved off and sent to restaurants. It's a little bit worrying that with uh, every dumbest tweet video I do, I want to live in dumb Twitter land a tiny bit more. And finally now, at number one, did the world used to be black and white? I mean, oh isn't that God. why the photos in history books are black and white? Amazing. I did a video on this channel a while back <laughs> talking about dumb things that we all thought as kids, and this one was on it. But it only came from people who thought this when they were like six or seven. This is a fully functioning adult who thinks that at some point color was just invented, I guess, and then suddenly wow. everything wasn't black and white anymore. I didn't think we'd need to explain that the world wasn't black and white before color cameras, but now it might actually have to be a history lesson for kids. Okay, <laughs> the background's changed. Here we are. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> That's guy. funny. Uh, <clears throat> their channel is mo Most Amazing Top Tens. Yeah. And uh, as you can tell, that guy's pretty fucking funny. Um, well, I don't know if he's funny so much as the shit that he's talking about is pretty... I mean, The shit just... he's talking about is funny, but you can... I can, Like, okay, if you put Stephen Hobson... I'm calling you out. If you put Stephen <laughs> Hobson... Run... Stephen. If you put Stephen Hobson in front of that and tell him to read off these top ten dumb tweets... I don't think he'd be as funny as that guy. Well, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it. guy. I'm not saying that guy's not funny. What I'm saying is, it's it not is. as. It, I mean, <laughs> the fucking uh, the material. He's not writing his own material. Right. He's just. I mean, come on. So, I'd have a field day with that shit. Yeah, the material's there. It's there. But I mean, I was like, I've any seen, any writer who's got any kind of I've, sense. I've, can I've do seen. It. I've seen like three or four other YouTubers who have tried to tackle like dumb tweets and stuff yeah. like that. Um, they're not as funny as this guy. Oh, well, sure. No, no I'm, again, I'm not saying the guy. I think is... it has to do with his accent, too. That kind of helps. Yeah, it helps. It gives him Eddie a... Izzard. Yeah. Yeah. What can you say with an English accent? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like other Robin Hoods. Uh, yeah. I have an English accent. I have an English accent. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. So, you know, baseball. God. Not personally. You don't know baseball personally? Yeah. I do. I've been keeping up with what's been going on. Yeah, what's that? If you're a Rangers fan, it's going to be a bleak season. Yeah, why is that? Because we haven't... Um, we signed Bartolo Colon. Yeah, I saw that. I heard about the that. The fuck? That guy's in a fucking walker, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. He weighs about 1,700 pounds. He pitched like shit last year. The reason why he didn't pitch a whole season. And we thought, hey... Mm, 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 uh -huh. I want to call up John Dan. He's like, hey, uh, you know I used to play baseball. Sign me. I'll do exactly what Bartolo Colon's going to do. Not a goddamn thing, and collect a fucking paycheck for it. What? Exactly. I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. Like we saw, the, the Rangers signed Edison Volquez today. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, exactly. You should know who that is, but uh, so the we the Rangers signed him to go to the disabled list because he's recovering from Tommy John surgery. They gave him a two year contract where one year he's going to be doing. Nothing but recovering. So basically, we signed him to pay for his recovery. That maybe he'll be able to pitch in 2019. Maybe. Could work out. Maybe. 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 Or could not. It could not. Probably. I'm going to go with could not. I just don't watch me. Like, I was... Uh, yeah, I know. You're a football guy because well, no, it's easy. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and less, Where's George Carlin? And less boring. But... Um, 
If you're watching one from baseball. But remember, George Carlin, baseball is the positive sport. <laughs> Who's That's up? Right. You're up. I'm up. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I was watching the TV.